Okay, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the uh, technology on this uh, Kurga, uh, Kurga Vignali. Um, you'll notice on the steering column, you've got your normal buttons for the uh, stereo and the uh, information module. But on this one, you've also got a cluster of buttons to the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Cancel off, limb, cancel off, and a pretty little picture of some cars. Well, this is actually for your cruise control and your speed limiter. This car has got the um, active cruise control, which will maintain the gap between you and the traffic in front. And you use it simply by these two little buttons here, the application of those. So what I'll do, I'll actually turn it on by pressing that one. So at the moment it says it's on standby. You can see on the module in the steering wheel it's a standby. Now if I press this button, you'll see that it moves the car on a display either forwards or backwards. Now what it's doing is it's telling me now that the gap between me and the vehicle in front is quite close and it will maintain that gap. If the car in front brakes, this will brake. If it accelerates, this will accelerate. It won't go down to a, to, to a stop. The car in front stops, you've still got to stop. If I do this, and obviously you've got a bit more time or a bit of a gap between you. The, the little lines are pretty much car, car lengths. So it's telling us that there's like five car lengths, four car lengths, three, two, and that amount of one. You wouldn't really want it on one on the motorway. It would get quite scary, you'd be really close. You've also got a speed limiter. So again, you press LIM and it's telling you the speed limiter is on standby. You can then press the plus and minus button to limit the upper speed. So you could limit this car to 30 miles an hour if you're going to be driving around town and it will um, maintain 30 miles an hour. Words of the wise, it won't put the brakes on and stop it exceeding 30 miles per hour if you're traveling downhill. So that's something to bear in mind. If I just press the button again, it'll turn it off. And if I do the same, the cruise control is put that back on standby but quite a useful thing to have on today's busy roads